Today I want to show you how to make a Crayola Model Magic coil pot. And I did these yesterday with my first through fourth graders. So a lot of ages can do this project. This one I did by coloring my Model Magic with marker. And this one I did by just using the plain white and some neon tempera paint. Accidentally dripped some yellow on there so then I decided to like splatter paint my yellow on there. Not perfect, but I like how it's colorful. So anyways, let me show you how to do this. Um, I passed out to all my students one package of Model Magic and one package made this cute little hand-sized cup. So this goes a long way. I've already got some open, so I'm gonna use that. And first I show them to take a little pinch of the Model Magic. It doesn't have to be huge. In fact, if it's a big piece, it's gonna take longer to color that piece. So, I don't know, this is about a quarter size sphere. My hand's pretty big, but it fits in my hand like that. I roll it into a ball, show them how to do that. You'd be surprised how many kids don't know how to do that these days. And I'm gonna squish it. I got a little bit of paint on it, but it'll be all right. And we just use some markers we've been using all year long. Crazy art. Crayola, we love your markers too. All right, and so we color the top and the sides. I'm gonna get a little bit of marker on my background. And one thing I love about this module, model magic is it's not messy. There's no like clay residue left over. So parents, if you want something kind of fun and easy that your kids can make at home, model magic is great. It's very versatile. And kids love it. It's foamy. They like the feel of it. They like playing with it. All right, so we colored this with a regular washable marker. And then I told the kids to, and this part is gonna get kind of dirty, but it'll be fine. We're artists, right? And so I take this and I just kind of fold it and roll it. Roll it and fold it. Now, some kids really liked this marbled look and they wanted to keep it marbled. And then some liked the solid look. I'm gonna put it on time lapse and mix this up and show you what it looks like when we get done. Also, if it's too light and you wanna add some more color with your marker, you could do that. All right, so here we are with our Model Magic. It's a nice light pastel purple. It's not super dark. If you want it darker, you can. So here it is compared to my original white. All right, so the next step is to take your little colored ball and roll it out and turn it into a coil. I'm gonna move this out of the way to do my coil. So when the kids were at their desk, we put a piece of paper down to protect their desk from the marker. And then we realized it was kind of hard to roll on top of that paper. So maybe switch and remove that paper when you're ready to roll. All right, this is another thing a lot of kids hadn't done is make just a coil or a little snake with their clay and just roll it out and try to keep it even. I'm pressing down a little bit. I'm not pressing down super hard, but I'm trying to get it pretty even. And when I'm ready to do my base, I roll that up like a snail. And some kids thought that they were supposed to keep rolling like a snail and then snap stack those snails on top of each other, but this is the only time you're gonna make your snail. Now, could you make a more detailed coil pot and stack up vertical kind of snail shells or swirls? Totally, but for this, we're not gonna stack them up on top of each other. They'll get all stuck together and we won't have an opening for our cute little cup. All right, so I've got my first color done. I've got my base. I had enough that I could kind of wrap it around and start my second layer. All right, so now I need to do those steps all over again. Tear off a piece, kind of a small piece, and roll it into a bowl. I'm gonna put my paper down so I don't get my area dirty. Take it and I'll squish it. There we go. And try a different color. And I'll try a complementary color, which is yellow. Ooh, that looks more orange than yellow, doesn't it? Must be a yellow orange. Does it say? Nope. 
Looks very orangey. Oh well. So the complementing color for purple is yellow, not orange. But oh well. Maybe it'll, of course it'll get lighter as we mix up the clay. So it's all right. I had some kids yesterday who were coloring a lot and their color turned out so vibrant. So if you want to do that, if you want to spend more time coloring, that is fine. I'm just showing you the basics and then you can take it and make it however you want. So again, you take it and kind of mash up that ink into this little model magic. I bet a lot of it's coming off of my hands. Oh, not too bad. So see parents, it's not too messy. All right, so I'm just molding it and folding it, squishing it. I'll roll it in between my palms and I'll fold it. Roll it and fold it. And I keep doing that until I get my desired color. Again, if you like that marbled look, go for it. If you'd rather have a more solid look, keep on keeping on. I'm going to switch to time lapse. All right, so we've almost got it totally solid and look how pliable it becomes as you play with it as you warm it up like some folks yesterday thought oh mine is dried up but when they started playing with it they realized oh it's really not and it's fine all right so i roll this into a bowl and i'm ready to make my next coil there's my little base so i'll roll it out with my palm first and then I'll use my fingers and we're kind of pushing and pulling at the same time. I'm not really using my thumbs, am I? And for those of you who know how to make a coil, awesome. Sorry if I'm being boring. There were quite a few kids out there who did not know how to make a coil. So play with Play-Doh kids clay or whatever. I loved Sculpey clay when I was younger and that's um, polymer clay and you can get all kinds of colors. Of course, Model Magic comes in all kinds of colors too. This would be a good starting point and then work your way up to polymer clay and um, I had a klutz book and I'd follow that klutz book and make all kinds of fun things. Any of y'all remember klutz books? I think they still make them. Oh, the thickness of our coil. So this is looking kind of thick. It's not too bad. Um, I was telling my kids yesterday to help their clay go a little bit longer is to maybe make it a little bit thinner than a pencil. Not too thin. If you make it too thin, it will probably easily break. Um, and also you wanna have it even. You don't wanna have one thin edge and one thick. Try to make it as even as you can. So look at that. We've already got one, two, three, four, five little layers going this side has still four layers and that's okay now if you were using real clay you would have to kind of score your clay on the bottom make little lines in it but with this model magic it sticks together pretty well and it's just decorative it'll, that means it'll just sit on your shelf and look pretty maybe hold something little um so and we're not firing it it's just air dry all right so i'll probably do one more layer with you guys and then let y'all try it okay so Again, we take one piece, roll it up, put our paper down to guard our work surface, squish it. Let's see, what color should I do next? We did purple, we did kind of a yellow orange. I don't know, maybe a real yellow? That's not much contrast. How about pink? Remember, you can do whatever colors you want to do. You do not have to do what I do. Would you color that little disc? I've seen people make jewelry out of model magic, make little animals out of model magic, pinch pots. It's very versatile. I've also seen people incorporate model magic into their 2D art. And so give it like a 3D aspect. Like maybe a fish in an ocean or a flower in a garden. You can make all kinds of things out of this neat stuff. 
I'll put a link in the video in the description for where you can purchase it. But you can find it just about anywhere. And I don't know, I don't think this is a, this affects our markers. They still color well. I mean, we've been using these little crazy arts all year long. This one's kind of getting dry, but I don't think it ruins your marker to do this. We are doing this at the end of the year. So in case they did, it wasn't a big deal. But this is also a good project for being art on a cart. Um, doesn't require, you know, paint and water and all that stuff. And those Model Magic, these little class pack sizes come in a nice box with a lid. And this is so easy to hand out. I can just give one of these to each child. And I've actually had this for a long time. Let's see if there's a date on this side. I don't know. Surely that's not like 08. <laughs> I don't know, but I've had these for a long time and they still worked. So kudos Crayola, this stuff is awesome. Okay, colored my little disc. Now I'm ready to mold and put that color in my clay. My fingers are kind of pink, but it's not terrible. Whoa, and see that's kind of turning lighter than I like, so I can just add some more color. But the kids had a blast doing this, and it's like a day before school is out, so I was trying to find something that would keep them engaged and they'd have a good time but not get too crazy and i stumbled across i think nicole hoff arts on instagram and she had done this a few weeks ago with her students and i thought oh that's perfect i've got a lot of model magic we'll use it and have fun on our last day of art But you could try this over the summer. It'll be so fun. I'd love to see what you guys make. I'm liking this pink color. So it tears a little bit, but I mean, it's still cool. Kind of looks like bubble gum, doesn't it? Again, you roll it, fold it, roll it again. I love how stretchy and squishy it is. It's so foamy. Some of the kids were complaining that it smelled like vinegar and they were trying to use Mr. Sketch markers to make it smell better, but they're like, nope, still smells like vinegar. But it's really not stinky. It smells fine. So roll it up into a ball. Okay, see it fits in my palm. Move my little protective barrier, roll it out. So I'm rolling with one hand at first. I'll switch to two hands to make it longer. Let me show you what not to do. So yesterday some people were kind of like, oh, this works too. I'm like, yeah, kind of, but it'll make it uneven. Like I don't want one end. Look, if I put a lot of pressure with one finger, what happens? Yee, it gets too skinny. So I can fold it, squish it, start over, roll it. So try to keep even pressure on your fingers as you're rolling and kind of pull at the same time. I love this. I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. I guess, I don't know, maybe we had more 2D art that we had to do for art shows or whatnot, but since this year we didn't have any art shows because of COVID, we got to do more different things. Okay, I've got my long coil. I'm gonna attach it. Squeeze it. Just kind of Drape it on there. If you want your bowl to angle out more, then put it on the outside edge of your previous coil. And if you'd rather like pinch that off, start a new coil, you could do that too. This is your art, it's up to you. You wanna try something different? Try something different. Ooh, I like those colors together. All right, so I still have my model magic, but I think y'all get the gist of how to do this. I hope you have a great time creating. I hope you have a great summer. I'll miss you and see you later.
All right, I know I said it was done. <laughs> but I was like, oh, I wanna use one more little piece. So I rolled out and made another piece of pink. And plus, I wanted to say goodbye to my fifth graders. I've had some of y'all for six years and there's so many good artists in this graduating fifth grade class. And I just wanna tell you how proud I am of you, um, how much you've grown over the past six years in your art and how you've still been committed to it. And I'm just, some of you have even just came into your own and started making art in the past few years. So wherever you are in your little art journey, um, I just want to say I'm proud of you and I'm thankful for you and the time that we had together in art and I wish you nothing but the best in your life's journey and I may forget your name when you're older but don't be sad <laughs> just because I have a bad memory sometimes and still say hi to me if you see me out and about all right love you guys have fun on all your endeavors and making a cool pinch pot if you decide to. <laughs> See ya.